Hey folks, a trace monk here, playing some more Stellaris, some Europa Interstellaris. That's right, that's how I like to think of it. It's gonna cost me, um, some, like, research and stuff, but... I... I, I, I want to uplift these guys. So how long does this take? Plus two per month. Oh, that's not that long. And we'll replace some of what we lost. With uh, the research station that's being built over here. System survey complete. No, oh, you finished? Really? Okay, so there's like the one alien species and then like a star that we can rip some energy off of. Construction complete. Whoa, guys. Excellent work. We now have a strong resource base to Oh yeah, because we finally hit plus ten, plus thirty. <laughs> so we finally finished, I don't know, one of those things. Let's research the dang space amoeba. Uh, you know what? Let's go down here to this unknown sector. No, I want to. Okay, fine. They're like, we don't know what it is. Okay, so you guys come down here. I guess we'll finish out this little, like, arm of things. You survey this uh, sector. And you get over near the exit where things might cause trouble. Okay, so we gotta... Okay, so... Build... Yeah, build the mining thing there. Special project complete. Okay. Alright, we got a lot of influence built up. I think we can afford to maybe do an edict or something. Hmm. The only problem is, is that I don't see one that I really, 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 really want. Um. And I guess we could boost our engineering stuff, although it gets the most points anyway. It's the only reason it takes so dang long is because... Alright, research engineering. There. I. Oh no, there's the numbers. Okay. For some reason I thought the numbers weren't being shown to us properly. Reschler, you got a whole bunch of stuff cleared. I could upgrade that to a bio lab. I don't think that's really what I want to do right now. I think I do want to build a, where's the lab, basic science lab there. So I'm going to probably, because we've got the power hub, yeah we'll probably build a power hub here and build another Batharian power plant there. When we get people there. Right now, you have the five pops. So could I upgrade this? Yes, but I don't have the... Okay, we'll... Let it go for another month. And... Boom. Research that anomaly, please.
I don't know what that did. I'm assuming we did research the anomaly, though. Construction complete. Yeah, I don't think I need this frontier outpost anymore. Yeah, that'll shrink that'll shrink in our borders a little bit, but not too much. Especially cuz we've got this frontier outpost here. System survey. Oh wow. Okay. So you finished that up pretty fast. Ain't hardly anything in here. Go here. And you are to survey the system. Okay. Who are you? You are the Kinor Stellar Union. You are individualist and fanatic materialists so you also really do not like us yeah they are unfriendly they have two colonies I think this... no, Spiritualist is going to piss him off too. There. Slave policy, purge policy, border friction. Although we don't really have border friction. That's kind of funky. They're not expanding in anything resembling like a you know, direct line anywhere. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Hyperdrive 2. Yes, sir. -y? Yeah. Yeah. Hyperdrive. Hyperdrive. Construction complete. Doesn't matter that it's gonna take a while. It still needs to happen. Oh, no. Can I not? Why can I not? Oh, because it's... What? Oh! When I took that away, it took out the border expansion down here to Erium. Mm, that's kind of annoying. Um... Build a frontier outpost there. Who are you? The Tuscan Combine, who is like... Way the hell over here. So you've just got like two planets and stuff. And how are you? You are fanatic collectivist and a xenophile. You like us! What is this? They're rivals with this person and unidentified with somebody else. Sure. Establish an embassy for right now. I have a question. I know I totally did this research for like a buildable pop. Like, <laughs> could I? How do I build them? Is this like a ship thing, maybe? Like, I want a colony ship. But like, what's the payload on this? 
Is there anything? I mean, like, the colony ship that we have, there's just, like, a star drive. Oh, that's point defense. So we could, like, decrease their offensive capability a little bit. By giving them a point, by giving them a point defense cannon. Or, instead of that, we could replace it with nuclear missiles! To give them a different kind of higher range thing. And we only have the one type of thrusters and only the one type of radar. Okay, let's let's just Cancel out of that for now. Um, so you guys finished down here, right? Did you finish? Are you still surveying things? No, you're still surveying things. Alright. Research that anomaly then. And you guys can come out here ahead of them. Have you finished your deal? No, you are working on constructing it. Yes, we have established an embassy. Hopefully these guys don't, you know, suck at their job. Oh cool. Salty modifier. Huh, okay. Science ship Zaxamok came up short with regards to its original mission of investigating possible activity on the frozen surface of Payastodora 2. There is some seemingly nothing of note but ice and rock. However, science officer Rick Rick is Rekazir, a self-proclaimed gourmet chef and history buff, claims to have made an important discovery. The chemical compound found in the surface ice layers in several regions of Tiestador 2 is allegedly supposedly closely related to Anathurian stellar salt, an ingredient integral to many traditional Anathurian dishes and thought extinct on Resh. It has long been speculated that Anathurian stellar salt was never native to our home world, but was brought to the surface by some meteorite impacts in the distant past. So, the ship gets... Sorry, the ship gets happiness? I don't know. I don't, I don't understand. Anyway. You... I, you, need to survey that system. Where's my fleet? My fleet is on their way up there. Construction ship is slowly doing its job. Uh, up our naval capacity, reveal, <laughs> sure, reveal the alien pets. Since, a, since apparently this is actually important. How 
is Resh doing here? This pop is getting there. It's not quite there though. Hey, okay, come on. All right, yeah. We got more of these. It's more of these drones. Come on, guys. Decide you're going to come out here. You know you want to. Evading hostile fleet. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh my goodness. They just like to tear through my ships. No debris left there. Engaged. Yeah, this should be okay though. This is just a mining station. in there okay uh, survey system you guys go repair go repair we'll send the second star hunters out here for backup Okay, here. Build observation build observation posts so I get that societal research going again. We could upgrade with the planetary capital, but we need more pops. So we're gonna do that with Reschler, I think. This says, hey, let's plan it unique. And then you build a Vitharian power plant. And then I want to build a power hub there. Slowly getting that XP. Come on, man. I need that level 5 there. I wonder, actually, can, could I group them up? I don't know that I can, though. So, he's it. Where else did I stick like a frontier outpost? It's kind of weird that I don't have that. All right. Rekazir can now do that one project that's been sitting there forever. Repairs have been completed. Cool. Two months on destroyers. And we can see what another ship 
profile is going to look like. Oh my goodness. I do think I want to build a Corvette though. Research complete. Okay. So we completed our destroyer research. Uh, yeah, sure. So ship designer. So the default destroyer here, we've got a couple of things going for us. So yes, it is a larger ship. It's in two sections. And we can do it as flash bulwark or shine bulwark. Or the shine bulwark. Or we can do these as well. Two and one. Okay, so I'm I'm thinking let's let's uh trash the auto design destroyer. New design destroyer. I want to be I wanna be fortune breaker and flash bulwark. Do I have medium weapons? I do have medium weapons. Let's take a medium medium mass driver. Missiles and then Actually, you know what? I'm going to replace one of the missiles with a point defense cannon. Okay, so we need power. Um, how much power generation of 20? Okay, these don't take up power. They just add to mineral costs. But I wonder... Add a medium deflector. I don't know. I don't know if that's reasonable or not. The idea behind point defense, right, is that it's that it's supposed to be countermeasures against missiles. We give them a point defense cannon. Uh, we don't have any other options for any of this other stuff right now. How much is the cost? It costs 193 to build this. <laughs> Seems fine to me though. I mean, we could go all out offense. That feels a little crazy. I mean, we are going a little heavy on the mass drivers. Um, oh, there is like an auto com auto complete. It's like missiles, small mass driver, small missile, small point defense, small mass driver, bunch of shields, bunch of things, and some armor. And offensive. I, why can't I click like a random name here? Hmm. I was like, I don't have the, like, what the standard one was before. But I think that's also a reasonable design. Uh... Dang it. 
Why'd you have to take away my, my, uh, my things here? Kathy Ox. Well, we'll call this the Kathy Ox then. And I want to make like a couple of those. Probably can't make a couple of them right now, but we will be able to soon enough. Oh, we have to have a level three spaceport. The hell, man! The hell is your problem? Oh, we completed the enlightenment. Our observation... Our observation post has been dismantled. Hi, Zareem. You are a fanatic? Oh, they're a subject. Okay. We cannot integrate them for 10 years, just like EU4. Okay, that means that we we lose all our stuff that was in here, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, you know what? I think we could get rid of some stuff. Cannot change it for... Ten years. Let's change it to Xenos only right now. How does that how does that impact communicate? Yes, they are a vassal under us. They still do not like our purge policy. But that'll be okay. So establish establish an embassy under them. The Empire of Zarim. So I, I, how does this work? Like our budget here from planets from stations, yes. But like we have this vassal. Like what that like what do I get from them? Like do I get anything from them? This isn't this isn't clear. Yes, they're loyal to toward us. No, well okay, they do like our purge policy a little better now. Um They are a hive mind. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. But yeah, so we've got this here now. Build a freaking mining thing to get me more power. More power. We're still working on building stuff over here. What is it currently working? Okay, it's currently still working on upgrading our thing. Oh, ooh, yeah, okay, um, cancel that, yeah, cancel that, because we don't have that other, because that other Batharian stone was in their sector, wasn't it? Well, actually, we could continue to get that, um, it's just a question of, hey, you guys, offer trade deal. We want, uh, what does a research agreement get us anyway? Applicable unresearched technologies. Almost none. Um, minerals, minerals, migration access. Migration access allows the other party's pops to migrate to owned planets for the duration of the trade deal. Transfer system. 
Oh, no, that was... So, I can't offer... Okay, here's, an, here's something. Oh, once again, this is all running long here. Hey, Tukan Combine! No, oh, that's not where one of your planets is. Talking to you is difficult. Offer trade deal. You have... What is your problem? Won't trade research due to neutral allies. Will only trade research with Federation. 534, 432, so, you know, it's... But they just don't want it, because they've got a neutral attitude. Could we give you some... Okay, could we get... their star charts Ooh. wow okay they've got some serious exploration done don't they the placid leviathans Oh, hey, yeah. Science ship. Hey, are you doing anything right now? Where are you, anyway? Matsonia. What are you doing? Okay. So we had like the one system. So we had like the one planet left. Okay, now come down here and deal with this damn thing. All right, next time we get to research something we should have been able to research a long time ago, and now we find out what happens when we uplift these people. It's called we lose resources. Uh, yeah. On the bright side, there are vassals, so, you know, not a huge loss. Ooh, okay, I thought this was a choke point here, but apparently it's not. So we will have to go look at that, won't we? Can we, like, yeah, build mining stations there? have to build stations in these other nearby-ish places too. Alright, but that's going to be next time. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.